Greetings, my esteemed subscribers. Apparently I was wrong. Wa Dutun is the king of money. It's not the king of rats, as I surmised in the last episode. And to redeem my poor French, we'll have to um, perform better in the gaming aspect of um, of this um, of this game. So uh, I'm just gonna jump down and kill this guy. Boom! Masterfully done. I'm gonna loot him as well for uh, good measure. And we have we can sabotage this. Interact. And we saw in the last episode something happens if we sabotage the chimneys. So we can find another chimney to sabotage as well. And there we have another Republican. I think they actually are Republicans too. Um, revolutionaries of some sort at least. And there we have the other place of sabotage. I'm just going to wait until they get out from uh, this place. Unless I could murder them both at the same time. Alright, let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. This, uh... uh oh. Right, um, that didn't go according to plan, but we'll have some action here in this fine episode. And I will continue talking about the fact that I've opened a Q&A thread over on Patreon. So if you want to ask a question of some sort, you can head over there. And I will try to respond tomorrow or the day after that. To all of those questions. I was actually going to make a regular video today, but the light mugged me again, or rather the darkness. It gets um, dark so early in Scandinavia this time of year. So that is why I opted for a Let's Play this fine day instead. Now, we have sabotaged the chimneys. Had to do it. it. Was the only reasonable course of action. If they only had left me alone, it wouldn't have happened. But um, no, it did. Okay, I need to kill this bastard. Hmm. Maybe I can do something cool here. If I can jump on this and now, <laughs> boom. Well, it's quite quite a nice thing. Aha, and we're defending some beggars here. How, uh, how nice. Die, unbeliever. Oh, your ally is under attack. We have a big bulk bra bruiser. That we need to quickly kill before he can kill my, uh, my friends here. There we are. That is how it goes. Right. Need to loot him. See if we can find anything fun. Money pouches. Right, I can throw this at um, at people for, uh, for logs. And now we can sprint up here. It's always aesthetically pleasing thing to do. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we have to get in there somehow. And uh, how to do that is the great question we need to answer this fine day. Can we go down here, perhaps? Boom. And can I get him as well? Aha, I have to kill him the old-fashioned way. Thought if I could get a um, another assassination, but uh, it was not to be. I have some more book reviews incoming as well. 
among others, The Celts by Peter Beresford Ellis. I have it lying next to me here at, um, at my computer, per the recommendation of my friend Survive the Jive. Uh, now let's see if we can assassinate this pale orc, or these pale orcs, rather. Aha! The two. Alright, quickly now. Boom. And... No, almost. Like the Thai boxing knee there. Speaking of which, I do intend to train some good old Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu later tonight. Up. That will be my training for the day. Yesterday I did some good old squats. I did four sets of 12 repetitions at 140. I am not really used to doing that high volume, that many reps. Especially for squats, I've only, well, I've mainly done lower rep work, so, um, so that was, um, yeah, got a good pump all over. So, uh, ha, he's been killed there by this underground king. So, yeah, anyway, that is my little training update. This is one of the cool aspects of Assassin's Creed, the exploration, getting to go through tunnels, etc. Go on then. Die, mate. There we are. Boom. Wish I had a sort of higher attack weapon. It takes forever to kill these, um, these guys. Go on then. Die. Finally. Okay. Should we go up? No, we can't really get anywhere. We have to continue along running in the sewage water, I suppose. There is a god. See if we can assassinate him. Boom. Oh. Hello. Now, let us continue. We have uh, some smoke bombs as well. Maybe I can throw them somewhere for the lols. See if we can sneak up on this on this lad. I didn't dream that. Yes. For the revolution, he shouts. And then I shout back for the king. As I've mentioned in previous videos, we are of course supporters of the king here. Here we are. Alright, finisher. Boom. Got some more creed points there. Okay, cool. I have to climb up here. Quite a quite a cool thing to have your hideout in um some sewers in Paris. My lord! My lord! Hi, a cutscene. There he is. Latouche. Reliable reports that an assassin is nearby and that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, wait, my lord. The, the um, assassins are, uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. Bring me his head. Alright. We have a uh, fight on our hands. 
So, how do we assassinate him in the best possible way? Now, of course, I need to show my pro gaming skills by um, assassinating him in the smoothest way possible. Hmm, maybe I can just avoid them completely. Speaking of gaming skills, I've been watching some PewDiePie. Some good, entertaining content. For sure. He is a um, fun guy. Good old PewDiePie. And now I could make good use of his pro gaming skills before I get um, absolutely butchered here in the this um, sewers. One die, and you die too. There we are. Boom. Now, okay. Um, let us, true friends, see what we can do. We can loot this guy, maybe see if we find some more medicine or something. We can loot this guy too. Before we commence the attack. So we have smoke bombs, as I said. Uh, cherry bomb too. They're getting panicky there. Hello, Letouche. Oh, I can't... I couldn't kill him. <laughs> Letouche. Embarrassing. Embarrassing indeed. Okay, we have to kill two guys with Phantom Blades too. See if I can master the fine art of um, Phantom Blades. Maybe it's sort of like a um, throwing knife. I'm sure you all greatly admired my knife throwing skills in the uh, top quality content video I made recently. It's good fun. Go on, kill them. Boom. Masterfully done. If I may be so bold. Okay. Assassinate this guy. Mm -hmm, I can't really throw anything at him. Maybe I can just rush him here. Oh. What happened to Billy's last agent. <laughs> nice setup, though. I must. Um, okay, now we have. Right. Now it's power gaming mode time here. Boom boom. Oh, um, let's see how we can how we can progress here. We can climb up here. What trophy shall I take Boom. Okay, one more hit. There we are. And now, aha! We don't have any medicine. Ah, <laughs> right. We'll just have to run. You cannot pick locks without the lock pick skill. Aha! Uh -huh. That uh, and we haven't even assassinated him. All right, let us try to jump down and assassinate him. Boom! There we are. My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It's done. Delacere is dead. Grandmaster. Good. We have avenged that guy. Now we have to flee from this horrible place. I still haven't healed, though, which is... Um, 
problematic. Considering I'm one shot away from dying, so I might uh, I might die and then uh, um, yeah redo it. But in that ca case, I will edit it. Uh, but here we are, escape. Okay, let us make a run for it. Boom. And uh, no, wait. I want I want to go down. So just drop down. Can we drop down? No. Okay. Um, now let's see. Boom. And they can't see because we sabotaged the thing. There we are, and finish. Boom. Now, how to get away from this place? Right, I utilized another little edit there, so um, I could navigate. There we are. Boom. Escape. Very nice indeed. And I do think that will be the end of this fine episode. Aha, wait. This is not the end of the episode because we need to investigate what sort of place of degeneracy we have landed in. Just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign. <laughs> as long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tunes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. <laughs> As I said, that guy likes the inerrancy of all sorts. Served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed all that rot? The rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? But where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Léal. Thank you. This guy clearly did not participate in No Not November. And as I said, I was indeed correct in assuming that that guy was a um, degenerate in lack of better terms. Now I will leave you and I will pick up here next time and we will continue to have a comfy autumn gaming session in Assassin's Creed. Until then, I wish you all a great evening ahead. 
XOXO, boo.